Oh, we're in business. And reel down. Up. There you go. Good job. This shark is completely blind. CEO Fishing. What's up, guys? Welcome to another adventure of... What's up, guys? Welcome to CEO Fishing. I got Lexi on the boat. She's uh, helping me keep a lookout for some fish. Um, it's her first time on the boat with me. Uh, it's only my third time taking out the new boat. I've had some motor issues. Uh, I actually had water in the fuel line um, and I'm still having some uh, some effects from that. Oh, there's a permit, there's a permit. Oh my God, there's a permit. There's a permit. We're on. Come on. Here. You want that? Yeah. All right, come get it. Woo. Set? Yeah, it's set. Hold on tight. Okay. Come up here. Come up here. Awesome. Pull back and reel down. Pull back and reel down. I think it's a shark. All right. I don't know if it's a shark if it does a head shake. Yep. Let's hope. Here. Let me try to reel this in. Might be a nurse. Might be a nurse shark. Nurse? Yeah. I hope it is, because I remember last time I got a lemon. Ooh, you gotta fight it. You gotta fight it. Pull, yeah, pull, I pull. Think it's a shark. I have felt the head shake. Alright, pull to the left. Alright. There we go. Guys, I'm filming on my cell phone. Pull the rod up. There you go, reel down. Pull the rod up. And reel down. Up. There you go. Good job. And you got yourself a stingray. Yeah. <laughs> That's your first stingray? Yeah. yeah. Alright, I'm going to have to gently get them unhooked. Yeah. Lift. Whoa, it's so cool. That's so cool, huh? I'm of it. Yeah, I don't, I don't like messing with them too much. That was a chunk of barracuda he just swallowed. Whoa. Awesome. Good job. Good job. They fight like they're strong, right? Yeah. They use their body and actually like suction to the floor. Whoa, that's that's cool. what you had hooked that one day that was that pulled you in the water. Oh. Just a lot bigger than that one. What is this? No! <laughs> don't, don't go in the water. Back up, back up, back. All right, let's get this thing unhooked. Good job, Lex. Yeah. Yeah. Got a How did that thing fight? Hard. Hard? It feels a lot bigger than it is? Yeah, I thought it was a shark because it did a little head shake. Yeah. So what happens with those things is they'll uh, actually get down in the mud and flap down and like almost like a suction cup to the floor and it'll almost feel like you're just on the rock on the bottom stuck on a rock or something. But uh, hopefully the wind's not too bad out here. Cause, um, like I said, we didn't bring the GoPros. I just brought my cell phone. And uh, guys, I hope you're enjoying the show. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button. Yeah. Set that right there. Guys, comment below what you want to see us do. Um, I do have an idea to use some squishies for bass bait. If you guys want to see that, just put it in the comments below. Uh, we're going to customize and build our own lures. Dad versus uh, daughter. What do you think? Yeah. I'm going to kick her butt. No, you're not. All right, guys. Proof from a couple videos ago, I uh, showed you how to fix the trolling motor. Um, an easy fix for these uh, riptides and uh, Minn Kotas. Uh, just by switching the, there's a switch inside that uh, controls this handle here, or this handle actually controls. So uh, if you guys ever have trouble with your uh, trolling motor, you might want to check that out. In the chum bag here, you got hit by something. Whatever it was, jumped out of the water, spit the bait. Um, that was the last piece of the first barracuda I had. Then I, uh, cast out that lure again right out here and uh, hooked about a two foot what two two and a half foot cuda yeah. chopped them up and uh, made some bait so now it's just a waiting game all right so it's Lexi's first time on the boat came out I brought a little Yozuri hard bait right here and uh, what I catch uh, a, a how many two. two yeah 
I gotta change this line here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that line is frayed, boy. So I gotta change up this line. We got two barracuda. I got some of it. I got the spin fisher over here. Bait sitting out in the water over there. The current's moving out, so we could we could potentially get a big fish. I don't know. We got about 20 minutes before uh, it's time to pack it up and go in. This is this is Lexi's first time on the boat. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? I like it. You like it? It's peaceful. It's peaceful. You want to come out on the boat more often? Yeah. Awesome. So I got the trolling motor fixed, as you see. Um, still having some issues with my motor, so uh, I'm gonna get that checked out. But it was enough to run over here and uh, catch a few fish. So, like I said, just enjoying some time with my daughter. Oh, we're in business. Oh, here, take that. I mean, you've been freshwater fishing on a boat, but this is your first time saltwater fishing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, on um, island life fishing. That's yeah. right. You caught a shark with island life. I forgot about that. Here, let me hold that. I'm gonna keep him tension on line. Reel this this one up. Okay. Okay. Reel that one up. You gotta be my first mate. Yeah. Reel it up. Cause I don't want the lines to get tangled. Good job. Good job. Good job, Lex. My helper. Uh, um, I thought I wasn't fighting them. I'm surprised too, because all I have is a uh, 5 0 hook on you. Really? So I wasn't sure if I was actually going to be able to hook a fish. It's not too big. I don't think he's too big. Maybe two, three foot. Start the day all artificial. Mm -hmm. Catch some bait fish. Catch a big fish. Yeah. Artificial, bait fish, big fish. Ooh, my arm's actually a little bit tired. Ooh, you want to fight? There you go. Got him. Coming in. That first run really wore him out because <laughs> he ran about 100 yards before I even uh, turned the camera on. Yeah. Just need him to stay away from the uh, anchor line. Here, can you walk up here? Okay. There it is. What do we got? What do we got? Dad, can Look I that. move over there a little bit? So huh? That took a little while to get him on board. Yeah. Yeah. Um, guys, one thing about this shark, he is blind. In both eyes. Both eyes. He is freaking blind. Look at this.
this eye can't see and let me get to the other side I'm just gonna be super careful here because I don't feel like being shark soup but look look at this eye this shark is completely blind so basically he used his senses you know he had to have used just a sense of smell. I don't know if you can see up close all these little dots up here. These pores are called ampullae. So in addition to the shark's keen sense of directional smell, these pores can detect small amounts of electricity generated by muscle movement of the fish that they're hunting. It is a beautiful lemon shark. And somehow he's out here surviving, finding food. So I'm going to get him back in the water. Hopefully he can uh, continue to eat and uh, find food because... Uh, that's crazy. A blind shark. All right, had this thing out of the water for about two minutes now. About two minutes. Um, let's try to get him back in and uh, get him revived. Ooh. Oh my. Ooh. Well, he's ready, shoot. Whoa, he's still got some power. Maybe I should have let him sit out a little bit longer. <sighs> Man. That scared that me. I almost broke my finger. So, uh, yeah, that shark, I mean, I've got some stinky bait out, but blind in both eyes. One is just kind of glazed over. The other one is like almost just completely gone. Yeah. I didn't realize he still had that much energy, man. He was just playing, uh, playing Dead. sleepy time for me. It's one thing I, I don't really like having him on board, you know, I'll let Mike do it, but, uh, I'm more comfortable just getting the hook out and, uh, releasing them, but. I had to look at his eyes, man. That was that was crazy. I noticed it before we had landed him, so I I, I figured, you know what? Let me bring him on board, show you guys. Man, I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with the power plant down here, the nuclear power plant, because I know that there's like other fish and there's like snook that got cancer. So uh, you never know. Crazy times, right? How do fish get cancer? Uh, honestly, I'm not sure. I'd have to talk to a marine biologist about that one. Uh, maybe we can get one on the show one day. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I'm tired. You tired? Yes. Yeah? All right. Let's wrap it up. Okay. All right. So it's about 7 o'clock, you know, 7.15. Sundown is at uh, 7.59 today. So we're going to head back in. Got a little uh, work to do on the motor still. I can hear some an air leak somewhere, a vacuum leak. So I'm going to have my mechanic check that out. You know, Danny at KNJ Marine. So, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Lexi, do you like riding out on the boat now? Yeah. Yeah, you want to do it more often? Yeah. I think we got to get Lexi on some uh, bonefish and some permit now. What do you guys think? Also, remember to subscribe and hit that notification button. Bye. I forgot to say that. Peace out, deuces. I got my... Horses in the back. Sharks in the back. <sighs> <laughs> With a passion, they say I be swagging and slaying in fashion. Feel like King Arthur, I just laid a dragon. My jig on the bottom, I ain't even snagging. Stay like a savage, we're snooking the best.